Hi, Cory here, and it's Tuesday, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of an overview of everything that happened last week. It was an exciting week down in Chicago, or I guess up or over in Chicago, and we had a lot of sessions, we had a lot of great announcements, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to walk through what I have in mind as the t top six sessions for you to go see or watch uh, on, on the site, and we'll put the links below uh, somewhere on this page, uh, but let me kind of walk through sort of each one and sort of what they, what they cover. So first, six, I'm going to start from here and go up. Six is, the, is basically the overview session. Oh gosh, that's a great handwriting. Overview session, and this was delivered by me. And this is a great overview session on infrastructure as a service. It'll capture sort of how it works, a little bit of sort of how it fits into the overall system. Uh, it should be fun if you're fairly new to the system or, or you've not really experienced infrastructure as a service. Some great demos at the end. Uh, it, you know, it may be worth your time. The demos are mostly at the end, and so if you want to skip ahead and watch some of those, you can do that as well. Uh, and so kind of a good, good overview on infrastructure as a service. Uh, going to five, uh, the actual, the, one of the great sessions and a huge amount of announcements is on the network. So this one's called Evolve Your Networking Infrastructure, Infra, okay? And this is a session delivered by a colleague of mine named Ganesh. And what this one covers, a whole bunch of stuff, but some of the great announcements that we had uh, just this last week, which maybe in the next few weeks I'll spend some time digging into, is user-defined user routes. So you can go in and you can define the routes of all of the networking that's connecting between your virtual machines in Azure. Uh, it allows you to deploy things like intrusion detection solutions, um, and it makes things with ExpressRoute work really, really well. Uh, and ExpressRoute, of course, is the really fast way to connect back to your on-premise deployment. So I'd highly recommend that one. Moving up in the list is, of course, a deep dive on IaaS. Okay, and this is delivered by a couple of colleagues of mine, Drew and uh, and Mahesh. And this one's going to dig, dig, basically take pick up where I left off with the overview. Spend some time talking about uh, some of the newest uh, features in infrastructure as a service, including the new uh, resource templates that you can deploy. Uh, walk through a little bit about how to build those and how to how to really uh, enjoy those in the new platform. Let me go up to three. So three is a small, a short interview, short interview that I gave on some of the newest announcements, mostly focusing on that template language. Uh, and so this interview on Channel 9, uh, it was actually answering a bunch of questions. It was with the uh, esteemed Rick, uh, I can't remember, Rick, what is your last name? Claus. There it is, with the thumb, Rick Claus. Uh, and so really great interview. Uh, we had a good time. There was a class that was involved that we uh, called out on the show. Uh, so this is a good one. I would, uh, I would recommend it answer some questions about a bunch of different things. Uh, and so moving up the stack, the next one is actually a Linux focused session. So this is sort of running uh, services on Linux in Azure. And this is delivered by a gentleman named Madan. And so this is a good one. You go, you know, watch and learn sort of how to deploy non-Windows solutions in Azure, sort of how they work, how they will piece together, and how they will deploy. And then finally, the last but certainly not least, number one on the list, is the foundation session. And this one is delivered by the none other than Mark Rosinovich and some other guy named Jeffrey Snover. Um, and uh, what these guys really focused on was the all-up story that we were telling uh, at Ignite, uh, all the different features and capabilities coming together. Um, the really cool thing that they demoed, they actually demoed uh, some things involving Azure Stack, uh, and sort of showed that off, um, and, uh, and talked a little bit about that, talked a little about some of the new stuff in Windows, Nano, all this stuff. Um, and so, uh, really exciting session, uh, covers both the uh, sort of on-prem private cloud deployment, which is what the Azure Stack is, um, and uh, also covered some of the new stuff in Windows, and so really, really great session. And just to spend just a minute more on Azure Stack, this is a really exciting aspect that we announced last week. Uh, at Build, we announced the things that we covered in this session, and so this was a new API, 
Uh, it's all template based, it's all JSON based, uh, and so it makes it really easy to deploy a bunch of uh, VMs together and connect them with networking resources, et cetera. Azure Stack announced that it will support the same API in private and hosted clouds. And so you'll be able to deploy the Azure Stack uh, and be able to launch that into your private data center and have the same API support and the same application deployment support that you get in the public cloud. And so that's pretty cool. It kind of pieces a lot of the technology together. Of course, the networking solutions will also be enabled through that same sort of template language. Um, and, uh, and of course, you can deploy Linux in both as well. And so you can see it all comes together in a very very intricate web of technology and information. And so with that, I want to thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed both today's little session and also enjoy some of these sessions on, uh, uh, on the links that you'll see below. And with that, Tuesday's coming to an end, so thanks for your time and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to ask me questions on hashtag AzureTWC at Corey Sanders Wa is my Twitter handle. That I know. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Don't forget to ask me questions. What is my, what is it again? Hashtag Azure TWC. Hashtag, so you'll cut all this now, right? You, you got it. Okay. Yeah. Don't forget to ask me questions on hashtag Azure TWC. What are you going to do? You're just going to play the whole thing and then I'm going to look like a freaking idiot. You got it. Yeah, okay. At Corey Sanders Wa is my Twitter handle. That I know. Mm -hmm.